Hello Aries, welcome back to the channel. Aries the Emperor here. This is your daily double reading for today. I hope everyone is doing amazing. Hit that like and subscribe button um, so you don't miss any updates. Um, this is an all Aries channel for all Aries placements. Cross watchers, you are welcome as well. To everyone, just take in mind that this reading may not be for you. It may not resonate and that is okay, okay? You take what resonates and leave what does not. All right, so let's jump into the reading. Let's see what messages come out. And thank you to all of you guys who show love in any way, shape, or form here. It is all gold, okay? All worth more than you know. All right, spirit messages for Aries. Hopefully, you guys can hear me clearly. I got to go buy a few more uh, pieces of equipment here so I can get my mic back up and get everything connected correctly. All right, so we have four cards come out, and I guess we're going to go with it and see, get an energy check here. So we have the, the Ten of Wands. It came out in reverse. Um, the Seven of Wands, upright, the Page of Wands, and the Judgment, Libra. And I like to see, look at the Page of Wands as um, Aries energy. You know, some people would say it's Leo energy, but it's just a young fire sign in general. Um, so this could be an energy of... Um, you needing needing to like maybe take some things off your plate here. Um, you are needing maybe to lay down some burdens is, is what I'm getting off of this here. Seven of Wands could mean someone trying to challenge you or you needing to stick up for yourself or just making sure and, and, and reminding you to make sure that you are standing your ground, you know, especially when it comes to your peace um, and things that are that, you know, um, and don't have to question, you know what I mean? Um, the seven of wands also could be you blocking out certain things. You actually blocking an individual. Um, you could be heavy on somebody's mind right now. Um, or like I said, you could be for just freeing yourself here and, and focusing and finding inspiration and in other things. Um, listening to your calling, you know, and, and going after it because that's what the judgment is as, as well. It's a, a calling of some sort, an awakening. Um, your come to Jesus moment, if 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 you guys have ever heard that term um, where I'm from growing up, you know, that they would um, say that. So, but it's just like your awakening, your, your spiritual awakening. You know, we all have one at different times and it's for different reasons. You know what I'm saying? So, um, it, it's, this is a good sign, you know, it's, it's definitely one, um, that your angels are near and always dear. And especially if you need, you can call out as well here. It's not just a calling that you answer, but it's also a calling as far as, you know, when you need salvation in a situation or, or just in general you, for yourself, you know? This could be someone actually want to pick the phone up and call you. And it's, it's hard for them not to with the Six of Swords, especially if you have, uh, uh, both agreed to, to try and move on. Because judgment is Libra energy and it can stand for um, your relationships with different people. Uh-oh. We got the Knight of Swords. Gemini energy kind of flipped over and went back in the deck. Yeah, like if you moved on from something, you guys keep going. Don't look back. I know it's hard. Don't look back. You're, you're moving forward for a reason. You know what I mean? Something didn't work out for a reason. Knight of Swords, Gemini Energy, Ada of Pentacles. It's time for you to, I feel like this is saying, put your work, your eggs in a different basket here. I feel like someone's challenged by you in some way, shape, or form. It keeps coming up. You challenge people. You make people want to experience their own awakening or their own personal calling. Uh-oh. One second. We have the Two of Pentacles. Taurus Energy. Or I guess you could say Capricorn energy. Who 
whoever this is, boy, they have a lot to say about nothing. Ace of Pentacles, because you all that. King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy. Regardless, Aries, you play it smart. I know you 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 guys do do that, but you know, just take an extra step back to think before acting um, in any situation. You know, King of Swords rules over logical decisions, head over heart. You know, not letting emotions get in the way of the situation and and affect you you know and how you react most importantly here eight of swords you already got somebody sweating and they sweating hard so uh, you doing the challenging like i said you are doing the high stepping um is what this type of energy is you know and and be unapologetic for it, you know show no mercy but you can do it in a humble respectful type of way here um just don't second guess yourself or question yourself because of others you know, if this is a situation that resonates with you because you already have people second guessing and questioning themselves, you know, and, and that's nothing negative that you're doing on your behalf. You know what I'm saying? But it's, it just is what it is when it comes down to it. And like I said, you know, everybody answers the call differently or not at all. So ten of, ten of wands in reverse, first the card to come out is, is your reminder, not yours to carry the lovers. Gemini energy. I don't care who it is. What their significance is. You make the decision and you make the right one. Nine of cups and your wish shall be granted. That's what that is. You will wish fulfillment for someone here as well. Right, this is somebody wanting to be intimate with you. And this could be more than just sexual. Nine of Cups can be sexual energy. But um, the lovers is swords energy. So that's mental. That's more than just um, having to deal with the physical here. The Nine of Swords. I don't know why I'm getting blue balls. Like, don't <laughs> judge me. But like somebody is frustrated like or somebody is angry that you've gotten into them gotten into their head the way that you have um you have a space there it's just regardless of what they say think or do it reverts back to you you know the people that were before you it's like when you come everything now gets compared to you you know or it's like you are it's 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 just like you're unforgettable you know what i mean regardless of how things end play out um people know when you walk in you know that you are an ace of pentacles type of energy and nothing less you know it gets no higher than that and that's just well rounded all all the way around um, and, and grounded as well here, you know, even in times where you, you may bring people out their energy, or like I said, they may try and bring you out of yours here. When it boils down to it, you're a very well-rounded individual and people have to give you your respect on that. And they don't want to, it's hard for people to do that. But at the same time, it's giving like a love hate type of energy towards you with the, um, five of cups coming out. Seven of swords. It's like somebody wanting to get the upper hand on you because they feel weak at your hands, at your expense with the tower, Aries energy. You unpredictable. This could be some type of, I, like the towers is, is just, can be a catastrophe waiting to happen type of energy or something coming in that's unexpected and this may be a loss for someone this may be some type of setback in some way shape or form but it's something that's necessary to catapult you forward if that makes sense you know they say some things in we don't understand why and there's pain in that you know and we have to heal from it and then you know things get better later and we're able to look back on the situations that we've been through and, and how we actually got through them here. You know, it's, the tower is not always bad, especially in your case. If somebody didn't know what they were 
in for, you know, or they don't know what they're in for when they ring your doorbell, you know, when they knock on your door. It's like something you never see coming. And I don't know how else you should be, you know, that's Aries energy. Seven of Swords, you know, so much so. Look, yeah. And the star is right underneath that. I don't want to show too much of the star because you know why. But the Seven of Swords and the moon is are both underneath at the bottom of the deck, y'all. Yeah. And it's like an energy where people do not get away with shit around you. <clears throat> People be so butt hurt when they get caught, when you call them out on certain things here. They they do not like when you catch up, when you figure out, like, when you, like, they do not like it. I don't know, you may have a reputation for that. Calling motherfuckers out. <laughs> Seeing through their bullshit, seeing them on, on their way, putting, you know, putting them in their feelings. And, and not, like I said here, it's, it's not, I don't feel like this is bully energy. But people are sneaky and they like to get away with things. They like to mentally try and get away with things with you. And most of all, emotionally. Because that's how they stay bonded to you, especially trauma bonds. And you have to be careful with that, is all I'm saying. Whatever type of connection that it is. I'm going to leave this reading here, y'all. Hit that like and subscribe button for more messages from me. I'm going to try and get some uploads on Kiss My Cosmo. Um, I may have to do it here where I am now. I don't know how my setup is going to work in the other room because I feel like you could probably hear me a little bit better in here. Um, so just stay tuned, all right? I'll post if I do end up um, uploading um, Kiss My Cosmo, which is my second channel for all 12 zodiac signs. Um, go check it out. I do have some readings uploaded now. That ring light is burning down on your girl and all this hair. I'm going to um, end the reading here. I'll catch you guys later. Mm -hmm. Ciao.